Hi everyone. So we are um, on page 338, lesson three, our American heritage. Last week we talked about culture and how people bring their culture to our country and we kind of share in that culture and um, maybe that be with food or music or clothing, holidays, things like that. But today we're going to be talking about our American heritage specific to where we live in our country. Okay. Belonging to the same community unites people of different cultures. In the United States, people share a common heritage or set of beliefs and customs. American Landmarks American landmarks are a part of our national heritage. A landmark is an important natural or human feature that marks a location. The Statue of Liberty is one well-known landmark. A statue is a monument built to honor or remember a person, an idea, or an event. The Statue of Liberty stands on an island in New York Harbor. France gave the statue of, to the United States in 1885. It was a sign of friendship. The Statue of Liberty quickly became a symbol of freedom. A poem by Emma Lazarus on the mount on the statue reads, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Mount Rushmore. Another important national landmark is in the United States is Mount Rushmore. This is a sculpture of four United States presidents. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Images of their faces are carved into a cliff in South Dakota. So go ahead and look at the fast fact on page 339. It took more than 400 workers from 1927 to 1941 to complete Mount Rushmore's 60-foot sculptures of the presidents. So, this is a little math question for you. I want you to figure out from 1927 to 1941 how many years that is. And let me know if you get the answer. It took a long time and a lot of people to make that um, landmark, so that's awesome. Okay, 340. National Holidays. People in the United States often celebrate their American heritage on national holidays. A holiday is a day set aside for remembering a person, an idea, or an event. So obviously, um, in our world, we have holidays. Christmas, Easter, New Year's, all that stuff. But we do have holidays that are specific to our nation, and those are called national holidays. Celebrating people. In January, people celebrate the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., this holiday honors his peaceful actions for civil rights. In February, we celebrate President's Day. This holiday once marked the birthday of George Washington. Today, we honor all United States presidents on this day. In November, we celebrate Veterans Day. On this day, we honor citizens who served in the military in all of our country's wars. There are other holidays that we also celebrate that aren't listed here. So we celebrate Patriots Day on September 11th, and that remembers all of the heroes that um, saved people's lives on 9-11, you know, so the firefighters, the police officers, all those people. We also remember um, workers, people that work, so your parents, um, your grandparents, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, on Labor Day. So labor is like works. So we remember those people on Labor Day. Um, going on to 341, celebrating history. National holidays celebrate important events in history, too. Our country's Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4, 1776. Every year on the 4th of July, we celebrate Independence Day. Many people across the country gather to watch fireworks and fly the American flag. They also show pride in the United States by wearing its colors, red, white, and blue. So that's a holiday that we specific, specifically celebrate here in America, too. Summary. American landmarks remind us of our common national heritage. Holidays remind us of the people and events that make our American heritage. Okay, so you guys have more questions this week to answer on Flipgrid, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing your answers to those. Keep up your good work, and I will talk to you guys soon.